What's going on everybody? Oxide is bringing you a new player guide where I'm, I'm I'm answering the question. I'm answering the question. Oxy, I made it to the city. I have a tier four weapon. Now what do I do? Okay. Okay, well, there's a lot of things you can do uh, right off the bat you can do you'll, you can go solo farming some dungeons by yourself safe yellow tier blue tier really safe stuff You can go gathering make a little bit of money that way here I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take you on a journey I'm gonna talk you through a couple of high risk high reward situations not even high risk Medium low to medium risk sometimes high risk if you're dumb about it re and high reward for sure that you can do at tier four once you reach the city with this build right here and th this is an example there, there, there's a million ways to grow 22 inch pythons but this is one way to do it i'm talking about black zone dungeons i'm talking about factioning uh some dungeons for yourself as well um we're gonna start do uh, we're gonna start with talking about black zone dungeons and then we'll cut over to faction stuff so but let's talk about the build real quick let's talk about the build let's talk about the build real quick we have the one-handed dagger you know me i love this build i think it's extremely good you have the deadly swipe for an AOE and give you assassin spirit, which, which which increases your damage per stack of assassin spirit on you. You get throwing blade, which is a uh, another AOE, gives you some movement speed, gives you some extra damage as well. And then the bloodthirsty blade is super good. While active, every normal attack deals an additional 151 magic damage. So every time you normal attack while this is active, you do extra damage. You also uh, heal for that much as well, which is insane. So you pair this. All I should also mention that while this is active, you also lose health but you when you're attacking you gain more health than you lose so it's actually really not that bad that's why you go with the torch for extra attack speed uh hunter jacket as well for the haste which gives you more attack speed and damage assassin hood to for, to, for your cooldown so you can keep using your abilities a lot more quicker i'm going soldier boots for the wanderlust this is this might help you dodge ganks or run away from people who try to gank you so i say go for it um, I'm also bringing spotted trout if I was also smart, which I'm not here, but that's okay I don't have to you can also bring like a tier 4 stew or even a tier 6 stew They're pretty cheap uh, to take along with you <clears throat> that will help you kill bosses because it's stew increases your uh, increases your attack damage and then some poisons I might not use these but they're really really useful, but the spotted trout is for the health region um, I'm also gonna put uh, in the description <clears throat> a link to a couple of the a uh, couple of builds that I, I i put onto youtube that you can also try that will also work in these situations as well so that being said let's um i'm gonna talk you through getting to a black zone dungeon and my thought process on this so if you don't know how to get to one first and foremost you go into limhurst here if it'll let me click on limhurst there you go you, you click on limhurst and you get to this little part right here and then you get into this zone right here now we want to click on this we want to pick which portal we want to go to it really doesn't matter for our purpose here so we're going to stick with the east portal okay okay all right now we're in the black zone reset camera so we can get over here now you could start doing this right here i don't recommend doing that i recommend going to nearby ones because uh, there, there, there's gonna be people just trying to get you here uh tier i would say you can do tier five tier six tier five Tier 7 is going to be a little bit more difficult, but for sure tier 5 and tier 6. So let's go get to one and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've made it into a dungeon. You can see here I'm only one little zone away. Um, I highly recommend when you get to a black zone dungeon because you are going to be worried about ganks. You skip the first few rooms here. You know, nothing too crazy. The reason you do that is you're trying to... Um, you're, 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 you're trying to be like, hey, yeah, no, no one's been here. And like, and like this way to other gankers. So we're going to skip these guys. We're going to start killing stuff right here now this, this build's pretty great so you know always make sure you eat your food all right uh are we gonna live here it's gonna be close oh may, may, maybe if i actually press e we might actually live a little upset a little bit of disturbance in the force um but what i want you to notice is one the the amount of silver we're picking up here which i guess isn't too great per se um but also the hold on there we go and we're gonna focus down the healer here as well boom all right and, and then and now now we're now we're piecing it together just fine i want you to notice the fame we're getting as well the fame in black zone dungeons are a lot higher because the risk is higher as well as the silver is higher as well and then also the loot um and and they're in i think they're not much more difficult than tier five yellow zone dungeons or at all any more difficult they're just what you're what you're getting the bit the benefit from is the risk 
and then like there you go like it's really that easy so let's say you're done you're like okay i got some pretty good loot i don't want to go any further i want to make sure we drop this off so once you come out of the dungeon okay once once you get out of the dungeon mount up you're, you're gonna have some safety here and mind you the further out you go the you know tier six tier seven is gonna be a lot harder to do but once so, okay, and now we're safe here right so we're, we're now now we're in the safe zone we, we get a little bit of, we get a little bit of buffer um for like 30 seconds yeah we get a little bit of a buff here but even better is once you get to the the portal zone that's the highest tree portal east okay you can you can take this buff right here and it's gonna make you invisible so like like you're you're completely safe now all you have to do is get to this zone and you cannot get ganked as long as you follow these rules here and it's literally as easy as that okay now um you will get ganked i highly recommend staying in tier 4 gear um th this is a pretty good 1v1 build but let me tell you this right now they don't always come in 1v1 and they all they they come in 2v1 3v1s because they're just jokers and there's low testosterone idiots so you gotta you gotta you know play the field here um now we're gonna transfer over i mean we're just, we're just gonna jump right on into it. we're gonna transfer over into faction farming um because with the new update that dropped recently a couple of weeks ago you can actually faction farm pretty easily uh with this build and what faction farming does for you uh first off we, we, we got to find the faction guy he's over here my bad uh the thing about faction farming is that it will allow you to get re reputation and faction coins and those faction coins can be used to buy so you what you want to enlist at least 700 and okay so you, you have to have um okay yeah so this doesn't matter you have, to have at least 700 ip to receive rewards from capturing outposts and faction warfare we're not capturing outposts so don't even freaking worry about it and plus you can get to 700 really easily so now what you're looking at here are things that you can buy with these with these little reputation points okay and you get these by kill by clearing mobs killing other uh factioned up uh players but we're gonna do this by killing mobs and solo dungeons and you want to get these little limhurst crests and you can use these crests to actually um, make limhurst capes which limhurst capes are extremely useful limhurst and thetford are to me are the two most used but martlock bridgewatch and um isn't there one more i miss i'm, I'm not thinking a uh, fort sterling all three of those get used as well but limhurst and thetford are probably the most used in my opinion uh but you want to but like you, you can just get these with the faction points and then sell them on the marketplace for a pretty good profit just for your time and, and it's relatively safe because people have to go out of the way to come find you and the solo dungeons now despawn once you're in them after like a, after a couple of minutes okay so let's go find one okay so now we're in a dungeon what i want to show you here is how many reputation coins we get just for killing a normal enemy we need 400 reputation points to get one of those crests that we can then sell so let's see how long it's going to take here so let, let, let's see how long killing one in me is now for this one i do recommend maybe going for the great axe build or like another more of a speed build but we got 17 coins for that oh that's not that much why why, why are we doing this well it's a bonus right if, if you're going to be doing these anyway and you, you're not 100 you're not you're not too worried about um you know getting ganked which Maybe you should be. Maybe you shouldn't be. This 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 this, this is tough. This, this is a uh, this is a tough room. Cause uh, what the hell? That was a lot of enemies right there. Hold on. Okay, now now we try. R E, you get melted. You also get melted. And then hey, why not you two? So then it, boom, there you go. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just kind of um, speed through this. I'm going to speed this up for you guys. Uh, when we get to a boss, we're going to see how much a boss is going to give us per tokens. And then we're going to see how many points we get. We're just doing one dungeon. So this isn't, you know, and dungeons vary in length and, you know, and stuff like that. So take take that with a grain of salt, but it'll give you a good idea of what you can expect per dungeon that you clear. So, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so we have made it to the final boss. Uh, finally, I guess on your end, it's gonna be pretty quick. I either sped it up or just cut it, but we'll see. Uh, it's gonna be super easy. So watch this. Boom, boom. Get out of the way of that. You are, then you eat, and then you just you just kind of watch him uh, go. 
and you kind of get out of the way there assassin shoes are better so you can dodge things just like that that's a little unfortunate that he did that to me um but you know it's it's, it's going well like we're we're not gonna lose <laughs> uh oh okay well i've said that many of times but i highly doubt we're going to lose r e and then you kind of get out of the way there I ought to be more careful when I say, uh, yeah, now we're not going to lose because it's actually looking a little bit spicy and we won, baby. And we got 79 from that. So let's see what we get real quick. All right, I will meet you back in Limhurst to see what kind of points that we ended up getting. All right, so we have made it back. So I wanted to say that we did one dungeon. We ended up getting a thousand points. So we can actually buy two of these. We buy two though so alongside spending alongside getting a thousand points there we also got a heretic cape which is insane some little bit extra money here and there and then let's go see how much this stuff costs sells in the marketplace so let's see how much do these sell for so these sell for i can put a sell order in for 8k a piece right now so i can get 16k so by turning on the faction flag and doing one extra for doing one dungeon I got an extra 16k out of it yeah i'm gonna say that's uh that's pretty good and we can even be honestly i'm just gonna sell this straight up there we go and that's it guys we have we have black zone dungeons don't be afraid of them we have faction flagging really don't be afraid of that as you see i wasn't worried that entire time because the the, the dungeon entrance doesn't uh doesn't stay open for more than a couple of minutes after i go in so you're kind of safe for the most part now will you will you die sometimes sure but you know stay strong anyway guys i'm out of here and i'll see y'all if you like it comment subscribe and i'll see y'all next time